What's the difference between a BCS certification and a BCS qualification? That's the question I'm going to be answering in this video. So if you'd like to know that difference, make sure you stick around. I'll be right back. Yes, my name is Olumide Adele. I run TWIM Institute, which is a BCS accredited centers. Essentially, BCS, the British Computer Society, or also known as BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT, has a number of certifications. They have what is called their certification program. But then they also have qualifications. They are similar, but they are not the same. There is a very important difference, and that is what I want to talk about today. So what are the certifications? Well, the certifications are programs that they have that are geared at certifying people for specific skills in information technology. So for example, they have a certification program for business analysis and it is quite extensive. There's a foundation um, course or a foundation certificate and there are many other courses all the way to an international diploma and then some more courses all the way to an advanced international diploma. So that is business analysis. As part of that, they have a certificate program for data analysis as well. But they have other ones. They have um, UX design. There's a foundation certificate for UX design. There is one for information security. There's one for agile and so on. And so they have a number of certification options. These certificates are meant to show that you have competence in those specific areas. And they are mapped to what is known as the SFIA framework, which is uh, spelled S-F-I-A. And it's a framework that was de developed by uh, bodies like the British Computer Society, bodies uh, certifying IT uh, around the world. A number of them came together and they built that framework. They are able to tell that you have a certain degree of expertise based on the level of the framework that you are on. So for example, if you have a foundation certificate, you might be on level three or level four, you know, and on and on like that. So you need to confirm the exact level that it is on the SFIRE framework. One very crucial feature of these certifications is that generally speaking, they are not accredited by Ofqual. Ofqual is the Office of Qualifications and Examinations Regulation in the United Kingdom. There are other bodies that are similar to Ofqual, like Qualifications Wales, um, like SQA Qualifications, which is the one that is valid in Scotland. These are the bodies of the Ministry of Education that have the right to um, accredit awarding bodies to be able to deliver those regulated qualifications. However, what I'm saying now is that the certifications are generally speaking not regulated qualifications. So when you earn them, you are relying on the strength of the organization giving the certification. So for example, in this case, it's the British Computer Society, which is a very strong brand, meaning that the certificate is very useful, but it is not a certificate that has the, um, the seal or the regulation of Ofqual or any of the other regulatory agencies. Now let's compare that to the qualifications. Generally speaking, uh, BCS offers qualifications for digital literacy and for the higher education qualifications. The digital literacy qualifications that they offer are not exactly available internationally, uh, at least not uh, through them in that particular way. So I'll focus on the higher education qualifications. Uh, the higher education qualifications are in three levels, uh, which are levels four, five, and six. And I've already made an extensive video about the BCS HEQs or the higher education qualifications, which you can watch. But essentially, 
what the higher education qualifications do is it's a modular program you know you just complete the exams level four and then after that you go on to level five and after that you go on to level six but those exams are mapped to an academic structure because they are accredited they are regulated yes that's the right word they are regulated by the appropriate regulatory bodies which in this case is off call and i think they are also regulated by qualifications wheels so what that means is you can use them as academic qualifications so you can use them to gain entry into the university through what is known as a top up if you uh, do the level four and then your level five you can actually gain um, final year entry into the university through what is known as a top up and there are a number of universities that are in partnership with bcs or which accept the bcs um, qualifications for this purpose so i hope it is clear the certifications are directed to you know show what you can do to the industry especially in specific areas such as ux design business analysis data analysis information security and so on they are specific but they are not regulated generally speaking by the regulatory agencies like Ofqual. however that doesn't mean that they are not usable they are very usable because in this case they are issued by a very strong brand the british computer society which is recognized internationally um, but the qualifications on the other hand are regulated by uh, the regulatory agencies of qual and qualifications wills. And so they are useful not only for university entry, but they are also usable as standard UK qualifications. So if, for example, you want to do express entry uh, to migrate to a place like Canada, those are qualifications that you can present to uh, bodies like West for evaluation because they are standard UK qualifications. I hope it is clear. If you have any question, any questions whatsoever about uh, BCS certifications, qualifications, or anything like that, or you'd like to sit for an exam and you'd like to prepare for it, please get in touch with us at TWIM Institute. Like I said earlier, I run TWIM Institute. It is an accredited center of the British Computer Society. So we can train you and we can help you to register for the exams and ultimately earn the certificates or the qualifications. So, till we see in my next video, my name is Olumide Adeleye. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel if you found my information useful because I post about things that can help you, things that can take you forward with relation to your career and your life as a whole. Subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and make sure that you watch out for my very next video. See you then.